Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3 on the Mysterious JG. It's been a little while since I played, and in off-screen action, I went ahead and made uh, two trips to the desert. Two teardrops in a bucket, folks. No, I made two trips to the desert. Uh, I didn't bother to record them, because they both were trips to the desert again. But following the directions from a fact, I was able to get the life armor, which is like supposedly the best armor. It can be used by Gar or Avatar. And the Royal Sword, which can only be used by Avatar. In theory, I could get another life armor for Avatar by going to, um... The f like, doing some stuff with a fishing minigame. I'm just not feeling it. I'm kind of surprised that I even went through the desert trips twice. But, uh, basically, um... Yeah, sorry if you really wanted to see that, but it was another trip through the desert, and... It took the form of... Like, when you find the treasures, it's... You eventually hit a random encounter area, like, where you wander around and look for a bag of treasure, a treasure sack if you will, and I found uh, just something that looked like a sword and something that looked like a suit of armor just sitting on the ground, and when you touch them, boom, goes to dynamite. So, um, this is my party, Gar, Momo, and Avatar. This well could be my endgame party, the only switch up might be putting in Gar instead of, sorry, um, Ray instead of Gar. One of the little things about this game that I've been annoyed by is how worthless Nina is in this game. Uh, because, you know, Breath of Fire, you think like, oh, Nina, fun to have in your party. But no, she's actually pretty awful in this game because offensive magic in this game is awful and she doesn't learn healing magic and the masters don't really teach healing magic. So basically, you're stuck with Momo and Avatar as the only people who can be healers. And, um... Yeah. Spoiler, I, I... I... Just a couple of minutes of doodling around and I saw what's in the next area, but then I loaded state so that it would all be first time, really. But I uh, know, so we... Are, we got the desert down here. Or this is where the, the town where the monarch of the sea lives. Oasis. Oasis or Blur. Blur. I mean, Oasis, Oasis! This place, um, I guess we didn't check it on camera, but I've been back and forth here several times. Because what this turns out to be... Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Just realized that there's something that you guys are going to have missed I can't recreate for you. So we'll beat up the tank bots here. Oh no. Frame skipping caused... Oh wow, I really hope this video takes. I just realized that frame, frame skipping made something funny happen on my rec central screen. I'm using two computers to record this to avoid sound slowdown. And I know that save states have been breaking stuff. I think we were okay with frame skip, but hey! There were two big wooden boxes here. Well, actually, maybe there was only the one. I think there was two. One blocking this so that you couldn't get to these two ladders. As which means that if you came at this place from above, you could just wander back and forth between this area. Sorry, this area here. And this area. But in fact, with Gar in your party, he, he walks up to those blocks from the side and he smashes them. And the ladder is revealed. Which is how we can get back up to here. And what you will find is... It takes us back to... The teleport thing on... I forget what the name of the dungeon is, but it's the one that's off... Like the Black Tower or something. It's near... Junk Town. And it's the only one, I think, that... Let us... Change... Uh, our destination. Current location, relay point A, and a destination. And container yard, I believe, is where we actually just came from. So it's labeled question mark, but when you actually travel there, this is container yard. But now, once you, once you come at it from this direction, you're allowed to climb down. We couldn't do that before. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that nothing happens from this, but, uh... Guard, you want to destroy any of these now? And using the fact that this allows us to get back to, um... 
hell no. No, 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 come on. Which button, uh... Makes him swing his sword. There you go. Maybe Momo blew them up. I think it was Gar took them out. But he's not doing anything now. He doesn't seem to have any interest in interacting with those boxes. But anyway, folks, this is the container yard. And, um... It's a fine, fine container yard. Full of excitement and adventure. And... Archmage. I was just about to mention, somebody told me there were rare encounters here that were more powerful than the final boss. And I believe Archmage is one of them. Oh, crap. No, I was running around here trying to see if I can encounter them. I never did. Now, as soon as I start recording... Wow, I'm kind of surprised at this. We could be in trouble here, actually, folks. Destroy and dead. Critical damage of enemies hit. He doesn't even have enough MP for this. Mjolnir! That killed her several times over. It just got back 1,500 hit points. Yeah, I don't think we can win this fight. Well, you know, I, I read about this in a fact, and I've been wandering around here quite a bit and never encountered it. There's actually two, um... There's actually two, uh, super bosses that both show up here as a rare encounter. And this is one of them. The other one is like, phys is, he's like a super powered up magic guy. The other one is like super powered up physical attacks guy. And I don't believe we can act possibly win. I think it's recovering too many hit points per turn. You are hosed now, Avatar. Benediction? It brought our guys back for us. That's interesting. I don't really know what we do against this guy. Maybe we could steal. I, at this point, I'm just kind of messing around. Well, I've got all of the, uh... Let's see... Fusion Infinity. Uh... Mutant, question, question, question... Yeah, uh, I don't really know what to say here. I wasn't really counting on this. I figured uh, I was debating whether I wanted to take a shot at this guy after we've won the game. Just don't kill Avatar. Alright.
Kaiser form. That is the ultimate dragon form, I believe. Kaiser, wait, wait, he just looks like a dude. I figured he would get a... I don't know what I figured would happen. For some reason, I thought Ammonia would bring her back with full... Uh, would bring her back from the dead with full health. I don't know really where I got that idea. I don't think Belladonna's gonna work. Alright, let's try Ammonia again. Give him one more target to try to kill. The Avatar's got the power to... Well, the Avatar is attacking Gar. The Avatar is so powerful in Kaiser form, he can actually uh, fight this thing, but that's about it. And yeah, then he just kills a Momo. I don't really understand Kaiser form, I haven't used it yet. And I'm thinking that our only chance is to keep uh, Kaiser form going against uh, Archmage. Why are you doing that, Avatar? Okay. Uh, so this ain't gonna work. Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Uh, I was saying welcome back. But really, for you guys, we're halfway through a video. I had a little recording error there when I tried to load state after we lost to that. Um, only somewhat expected optional super boss. Uh, yeah. So, I actually went ahead and kept going, and I have like two separate six minute pieces of footage that was broken up by yet another full screen frame, not frame skip, but full screen or, or loading save states messes up my setup. And in the next video, I will go on and I will be talking as though I did post commentary. And I've recorded, uh, I've recorded through the end of this next dungeon, actually, um, to some pretty significant plot development stuff. Uh, so this is like time traveling JG doing commentary here. Uh, but when it came time to come and do post commentary on that footage and then mix it together, and it was actually going to be taking three different pieces and blah blah blah. blah. I just basically I realized it was going to be simpler and less work on my part to simply re-record the second half of that video. So I know about where I need to get to. And uh, we are kind of looking around and... Um, oh, you know, what I don't remember though is whether we did any looking around here at all. I don't think we did. So it's like... Um, there's an inn. It's, it's another future city, like... Um, there was a future city when we first got here with some kind of weird zonked out human inhabitants and robots this we traveled across the ocean in the black ship but we can't get across this thing yeah but this so far appears to be an empty city it's not Rome open city it's Rome empty city it looks just like honey So let's not explore too far in this direction because we'll be getting past stuff. There's some some nice trees, but well, it's, it's like one of our modern cities, basically, folks. There's electric lights, everything is paved over. The trees appear to be mostly decorative. Uh, 
but let's keep looking around. And, uh... Another empty... Well, this is structured like a shop. Oh, there we go! peek a roll I don't know why I did a Grover voice. I was trying to do the Super Robot Nails voice, but it doesn't really work with... peek a roll Doesn't kind of... Yeah, there's some kind of robot running a shop. And I don't know if it's... It seems like it's meant to be speaking a language other than ours and also kind of stuttering a bit. And uh, I'll tell you honestly, although I think I mentioned it in a later video, which for me is a past video, we see some medical bays around here, and it makes me think back to Planetfall and the... You lie down on the uh, on the table in the medical board, and suddenly restraints grab you, and before you can do anything, a robot comes out, shaking unsteadily and belching smoke, holding a scalpel. And it's meant to be some kind of robot doctor, but it just kind of carves you to pieces. And I do wonder about the... what kind of shape these robots running this shop can be in, or these shops can be in. Goo goo ga ga ga! <laughs> Interesting. So we got some new gear here. Um, I believe this is the final store in the game. Could be wrong about that. Um, there's no point in me buying anything now though because uh, I'm using an older save state and uh, the next time I play four reels it will be uh, after I've already played several videos ahead because I'm coming, like I said, I'm time traveling JG. I've come from the future to narrate this video where I had a recording issue. I know how long this video needs to come out, but I just realized I didn't take a very good note of what time it was when this video started, so... This may end up being a kind of poorly paced and video with a weird length. So I sure hope I don't find anything back here, because if I do, I uh, won't have gotten it last time. Find like super secret cool stuff back here. It looks like honey. Honey is a robot as opposed to a sort of goldish colored semi-solid liquid made from bees. Well not made from bees. Now this rings a bell. I found moon tears. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! What the hey. Stop! Stop it! Get it out! I'm sure that there's more of whatever happening there. Security active. Please use the switch to select the mode. On normal mode, off test mode. Seems like we just cut the power, and now you can see the lasers. And our friends will still end up getting caught in them because it's very difficult to control where they follow you. This one shouldn't be as bad, I say, and then immediately get killed. Your best bet's really just to run through them as fast as you can. I'm actually exploring this place more thoroughly, I think, than I did in the actual for real video. Station ground control currently running in emergency blackout mode. Deactivate emergency mode? Yes. For orbital station, Myria. Please use platform one. Okay. I'm going to engage unlocking ground control station. You just kind of have to go around hitting things in the right order, and it all works out. We can jump down directly from here. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Yeah, so this is connecting back to where we already were over here. I don't think we ever found out what was in here. And... I don't think I came in here before, actually. In my on-screen adventure, I'm not sure I really checked this room. Nothing. Doesn't look like it was a big loss. That looks like it's uh, supposed to be groceries. As opposed to books or stuff. Like this is a... Hmm. Oh, that looked for all the world like it was something we could interact with. 
Alright, so this is some kind of abandoned future supermarket. This is Fallout. I would be expecting this to be, like, full of, uh... What do you call those guys? Um, the anarchistic ruffians? The raiders? Yeah. Wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff I never looked at when I was here before. It's all kind of empty and just... It's some kind of future city where the people have been killed. Well, I shouldn't say they've been killed. I don't know that. I really don't. I don't... Like, from future... I'm not coyly trying to hide something I realized in future plot revelations. I don't know what happened to people in this town. But, uh, there's no corpses around. There's no skeletons. So either they've been gone a long time, or... whatever was left of them has been cleaned up by service strip bots or something. The robots don't... that are running the shops, though, they don't seem hostile to us. And, um... In fact, they seem fully prepared to take your money. They are fully armed with commerce. Anyway. I believe uh, in my past self ended the video just as I got to the point where I was going to need... Um, what is this? When's gates opening? Yeah, this is it. That's where we actually need to go. But yeah, I think the uh, the first monster encounter I had, uh, when we got to an area that has monster encounters again, was where I called it a video. Which is why I'm not worried about the fact that we got to with a bunch of lasers. <laughs> Attention, look for Maria Station. JG was talking about something else and didn't read the text in time. Attention. Maria, Maria. I keep hearing that name. Is that supposed to be God? Hmm. It looks like we're getting closer, that's for sure. Yeah, and I'll make reference to this again in a future video, but this this is something I noticed that tickled me about this particular party combination. Oh, wow. I guess Avatar took a few shots. Momo is pretty much dead. Gar, however, was like, managed to obey the lasers, which is interesting because his intelligence... Oh, shit, look at that. She's about nine times as intelligent as he is, roughly. <laughs> like he has trouble chewing his food, I think was the joke, the joke I make later. He has trouble chewing his food, but her intelligence is so high, she can actually uh, use her brain to telekinetically control his jaw and force him to chew food properly. Yet, she wasn't able to avoid lasers. Best treasure in the whole game is right over there, folks. We can't get to it can't get over this thing that's I'm just kidding we've actually been on the other side of this but the city of Xerjan whatever attention look for Miria now leaving platform one Train departing for Balam Garden. Ancient Kerjan, the long abandoned home of the gods. Yeah. Avatar and his companions board the huge machine, which is unlike anything they have ever seen before. Gods have left the city in the capable hands of two robot shopkeepers who don't even bother to maintain all the shops. The machine carries them high to the sky to a place that shares the name of a god. Last stop, Orbital Station Miria. Arrives, arrivals platform. I didn't... I didn't mean to do that! Oh, man. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. Anything over here? Nope. Just a beautiful view of the Earth below us. Earth below us, Hello? Main entrance is currently locked. Please use the workers area entrance. Thank you, little Richard. Again, I don't know if I make this joke in the next video or not, but thank you, little Richard. Now leave. 
Here's the back door. I think it was right around here that, uh, or maybe the next room here. Somewhere wandering around in these halls. I met. Uh, it's not the same enemy type I met before, but. With his sleep attacks. I wonder if I can actually use Drain. No, she doesn't have that spell. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a long time? Let me do, um. Uh, Infinity. There we go. Armor's armor's cracked. Checking situation. Yeah, this Kaiser thing, I don't... I have not yet figured out a, how to get that to work, where it turns him into a dragon instead of just changes his hair color. He goes Super Saiyan, basically. So yeah, this is where I really should be ending the video, but, um... Don't really want to interact with anything, or I'll show you stuff that we haven't seen before, but... I don't even know if I got this on my other play. Oh, gas shells I did. You'll see that in the next video, folks. But, uh, I was hoping to encounter the enemy type that I'm starting the next video fighting against, because it's an interesting enemy type. And, no. It's not happening. But uh, the enemy type that I start against next time is pretty freaking awesome, folks. I was, I was really blown away. So I hope you'll tune in next time. Um, it's like a, a kind of halfway point between uh, Alucard and Bo <laughs> on the Serious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I uh, hope you'll tune in next time for uh, future JG. I will stop my time traveling. I will, uh, you know, I'm worried about the uh, Blinovich limitation effect, so I need to stop my time traveling and uh, return you to your regularly scheduled broadcast next time. That's all for now.